Hey everybody, doing a quick video here to show you how to get a little bit more benefit out of your arrow garden system. So for example, here we have an arrow garden ultra LED and an arrow garden extra. And if you look at the units, they have little holes with a little plug. And that plug is the exact size of an airline. So what that allows you to do is to put an air stone and an airline into your reservoir. And so here we have a couple aquarium air stones. And when you hook those up to an air pump and an air line running into your air garden, it'll uh, oxygenate your nutrient solution a lot better and it'll give your roots more oxygen and you're going to see uh, noticeable better growth when you have a uh, better oxygenated nutrient solution. Now the air garden units themselves, uh, they do drip into the reservoir so you get a little bit of oxygen from that uh, but you're going to improve things if you add an air stone. It's not a requirement but it's just one of those extra things you can do to improve your experience with air garden. Okay, so here we see the air pump, and we've got a line connected to a T-splitter, and we're using a metal splitter, uh, which I recommend because when you add the tubes to it, it can really stress out some of the plastic ones and you might end up snapping it. So the metal one will hold up for when you attach the tubes. And we're also gonna be using these little guys, which are check valves, so it allows the air to go one way and the water will not go the opposite direction. So if the pump ever shuts down and you get some sort of siphon effect, uh, these will prevent the water from siphoning back out into your pump. And if you don't wanna use those, uh, make sure that you keep your air pump uh, higher than where your reservoir is and on your aero garden. That'll prevent the siphoning also. Uh, but since we're going to be having our air pump at the same level as our reservoir, uh, we're going to go ahead and use these check valves. Okay, so we've got it all hooked up from the splitter into the check valves. And one thing to pay attention to is the diameter of the hose that can actually fit into the aero garden. It has to be smaller than quarter inch outside diameter. So we went with the mini tubing available from most pet stores and that should fit in just fine. That's a little snug on the connections. As you can tell, it doesn't go all the way over, uh, but this smaller diameter tubing will let it slide right into the air garden without any problem. So we'll go ahead and hook it up now. Okay, so there you have it. We have the air lines going into the air line holes on both the Air Garden Ultra LED and the Air Garden Extra. And it's all running off of an air pump that we have behind the unit and split. And this one small air pump is actually putting out enough air for both units. If you wanted to do a better job, you might want a higher power air pump, but this is what we have available and it seems to be working. We tested it with some water in a glass and give you a close up view. We're using the mini airline, so it's, it's not as snug as, as the quarter inch OD, uh, but this will actually fit inside the hole. And so there you have it. That is how to improve the yields of your air garden. And I know for sure it works on the air garden ultra and the air garden extra. Uh, the air garden three already has an air stone, so you wouldn't need to do that on this. Um, and I would guess that some of the other units have these access holes on them, but I cannot be certain of that. So thanks for watching. And if you enjoy this, uh, be sure to subscribe.